Namaste everyone. Welcome to Isha Dharma Yoga. Today is second day of your practice. Roll your shoulders back, keeping your spine straight. Relax your palms on your knees, index and thumb are together. Just to recap, the four yoga asana practice which we need are the pillars I mean for the asana practices. So first is the Isha Dharma Pranayama where you inhale as deep as you can then you hold your breath as long as you can to your comfortable limit and then you exhale longer as long as you can. And you pause again as long as you can. So there are four parts. Inhale, deep, hold as long as you can. Exhale long as long as you can. And pause again after exhalation. So that's the first part. Uh, I mean, that's the first pillar of your Ishtadharma Pranayama in general. You'll be applying this when you're doing your postures, when you're doing your asanas, when you're holding your postures longer. Second part, Mula Bandha, Ishtadharma Mula Bandha, where you uh, draw your pelvic muscles and towards the anus and hold it as tight as you can. It helps to channel the energy. Channel the energy. And that leads us to the third part. You bring your awareness, wherever you posture, your asanas draws your attention. So the energy can flow there. The fourth uh, pillar is you follow the natural movements of your asanas, natural movement of your body, your muscles, your joints. So this way you listen to your body and find your comfortable limit of practice. Bring your shoulders above your hips. Today we're going to do first Ishadrama Ujjayi Kriya Pranayam. So in general Ujjayi Kriya Pranayam you just breathe in and you breathe out right with your tongue to the upper soft palate of your mouth. You stick that like you imagine this is your tongue and it's pressing upper palate of your mouth. So this way your breath gets emphasized at the back of your throat but you don't want to uh, just breathe in and breathe out you want to go to the antar kambakam and bahir kambak antar kambak meaning you inhale and pause and then you exhale and pause that's bahir kambaka what we call so also, with inhalation, you will visualize your energy prana flowing towards the crown of your head. From bottom of your spine towards the crown. With exhalation from crown, it goes to the bottom of your spine as you exhale. As I've been teaching also in uh, uh, our regular classes, some of you are already aware of it. So let's just start, let's practice this today. We'll do for a couple of minutes Ujjayi, Ishadana, Ujjayi Kriya Pranayama. Index and thumb are touching together, roll the shoulders back. And roll the tongue up. Press the upper soft pedal of your mouth with your tongue. Close the eyes. And bring your awareness. Bring your awareness to your breath. Keep your belly button in towards your spinal cord. And let's begin. Pause. Exhale.
pause. Okay, I come back to normal. So, you're breathing again, as I emphasized earlier, I mean yesterday, you're breathing in at your own pace, right? You're not following my lung capacity, you're following your lung capacity, your breath retention capacity. You're basically on practice. And you visualize with inhalation, your energy going up, and with exhalation, your energy going down. As it flow. And when you're holding it and retaining your breath, you connect to your sensations. What are you experiencing? Or you can go further into your third eye, right here between your eyebrows, when you're doing breath retention. Or with inhalation, your energy going up, you can even stay here at the crown when you're retaining your breath. And when you're exhaling, Going down, and you can hold breath to the bottom. Right. So you're doing this, Vishadharma Ujjayi Kriya Pranayam, along with Mulabandha. Mulabandha and Mulabandha root, engaging your core root. And Ujjayana Bandha, your lower abdomen, corresponding to your Sacrum. Roll this up. Let's begin. Continue at your own pace.
keeping your eyes closed. Bring your awareness to your third eye, between your eyebrows, feel your inner sensations. Relax your mind. It's like going to take a shower. You get rid of your external clothing and you bathe into refreshing water. It's a nice metaphor for your yoga practice. You want to let go of your anxieties like external clothing. And just experience with your inner self showering with practice of yoga. We'll now begin with Ganesha Mantra, auspicious mantra to remove obstacle in your practice, in your sadhana, and in your life to help you practice better. Breathe in. Ganapataye Namaha Om Gang Ganapataye Namaha Om Gang Ganapataye Namaha Close, rub your palms, make it warm up. And cover down your eyes. Feel your eyes getting brighter. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Put your fingers to your outer cheeks and open your eyes. Let's continue. Take the blocks off. Scaffolding. And palms are below your shoulders. Like this. Knees are below your hips. Toes pointing back. Raise your right leg up. Raise your left hand up. Breathe out. Exhale, bend your knee down to your forehead, left elbow to your ribcage. Inhale. Exhale. 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 Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Raise your left leg. Raise your right hand in front. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. 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 Exhale. Come back. Relax your lower back down. Relax your chin down between your collarbones. Now, lean forward, take your feet up, and move your feet like this. Do it a few times. One side, and then another side. Good. Engage your fingers, engage your palms, turn your elbows facing backwards. Lean forward, come up into plank pose. Lock your knees straight. Push your fingers, palms to be met. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath. Each of them are prior. Exhale. Hold your breath again. Take a deep breath. Take some down dog. Again, inhale, hold your breath, exhale, hold your breath, breathe in again, exhale. Raise your right leg up and back, higher. Point your foot and stretch your right leg up as high as you can. Engage your left toes, balls of your feet. Keep your stretching right leg more towards the left side. Turn your face towards the left. And lift your right foot on your left side there. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Hold the breath again. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Look forward and place the right foot between your palms. Bend your left knee down. So you can bring the right foot a bit further. So your big toe and fingertips are aligned. Come up again and do low lunge like we did earlier yesterday. Anchor your left toes, balls of your and let your pelvis hip sink forward. Lift your chin up. Raise both hands. Look at your palms. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Hold your breath again. Take a deep breath. Come back, exhale down door. Raise your left leg up. Anchor your fingers and your palms and your three legged down dog. Keep stretching your left leg more towards the right. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Hold your breath again. Look forward, place your 
left foot in between your palms. Bend your right knee down. If you need to, you can again adjust your left foot a bit further so your fingertips and tip of your big toes are aligned. Anchor your right foot back. Raise the both hands. Lift the chin up. Touch your palms together. Feel, touch your fingers, palms together. Deep breath. Hold your breath. Mula Bandha. Ujjayi. Breathing. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. Take a deep breath, look forward. Bring your palms down to your shoulders, moving to down dog. Now, moving to plank. Lock your knees and strike. And turn your both feet towards your right. Come on your right palm. Push your right fingers palm on your back, turn your face towards the ceiling and stretch your left arm over your head. Like this. You can stay that, or you can place your left big toe behind your right heel. Keep your both knees straight. Take a deep breath again. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. Bring your palm down, blue your shoulder, take a deep breath. Exhale down bow. Again, move into plank, take a deep breath. Turn both feet towards the left. Raise your right hand up. Push your left fingers palm into your mat. You can stay that, or you can bring your right heel behind your uh, right big toe behind your left heel. Turn your face to a ceiling and you stretch up your arm beside your ear. Push your left fingers palm on your mat. Lock your knees straight. Lift your trunks higher up. Breathe in. Pause. Breathe out. Pause. Take a deep breath, bring your palms down, pull your shoulders, exit down the door. Move into plank again, breathe in, bend your knees down, arch your leg down, hips up, and bring your chest down with your palms. Chin on the mat, Shastanagasana. You can stay there with your chest down with your palms, or you can spread out both your arms forward. Bring your palms back below your shoulders, lift the chest up. Now look forward and place your right foot beside your right palm, outer side of your right palm. I'm gonna do a lizard pose from here. So turn your left knee out a bit more. So left knee and left palm are aligned, just as we did yesterday in the first class. You stretch your left knee straight in, turn your right knee out more, away from your right shoulder. And climb your elbows down. You can set that or you can use your block under your forearms. Keep your left knee straight. Very straight, off the mat. Bend your left knee down. And walk your elbows, come up in just front line, like this. You can use your block if you need to under your left forearm. And anchor your right palm in front. Take a deep breath and hold breath. And exhale. Hold the breath again. And come back, breathe in. 
Place your right palm on your right knee and push your right knee out. As out as you can. You're going to stay here. Or you can bend your left knee. Grab all of your foot. Breathe in. And as you exhale, bring your heel close to your buttocks. Okay, like that. Feel your left palm. You can even move it back and move it closer. Do it a couple of times. And let it go. Bring your palms down below your shoulders. Walk your right knee back. Place your left foot forward. So left foot, I mean your left heel aligned with your base of your palms. So when you're practicing Ishadharma Pranayama, sometimes you may forget to pause, that's fine. You can always bring your mind back to your energy, your prana, your breath. And continue to pause after each inhale and after each exhale. Turn the right knee out, I'm already holding the postures. You can pause. So right knee and right palm are wide. Stretch the right knee straight off your mat. And climb your elbows down. Again, you can use your blocks. If you need to, under your forearms. Breathe there. Pause. Breathe out. Pause. Come back, bring your right knee down, and walk your elbows a couple of inches further on the mat. You can use a block if you like under your right forearm, and place your left palm on your left knee. Push your left knee out more. Good. You're going to stir that, or you can bend your right knee, grab hold of your foot. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, bring your heel closer to your hips. You can repeat it a couple of times, move it back, then move it closer, move it back, and move it closer, move it back, move it closer like that. And let go. Come back. Bring your palms down below your shoulders and walk your left knee back. Good. Now <clears throat> place your right foot between your palms like this. We're gonna do some leg splits will do half leg split. So move your back and flex the right foot from top. Right as you flex the right foot from top, I want you to slip your right heel forward like this. You can use your blocks under your palms for support. You can even keep it flat if you like, or you can keep it sideways, which are Way the body allows, the posture allows. <clears throat> now, anchor your left toes on your foot. Once your right knee is straight, you stretch your left knee straight. <clears throat> and push your right heel further as much as you can. We're going to practice this posture, Hanumanasana variation, for throughout the series, Ishtadharma Yoga series. We're doing, keep engaging left foot and keep pushing your right heel forward as far as you can. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Hold your breath, Mula Bandha, practice Mula Bandha. Engaging your pelvic perineal muscles. Breathe again, bend your left knee and walk it back. Great, place your left foot forward. Good, anchor right toes on your foot. Move your hips back a bit and flex your left foot. Push your left foot forward. You can use the blocks again if you like. 
anti right toes on your foot and push left heel further as further as you can. Keep it stretching. You can position your blocks flat or sideways or even vertically aligned under your palms. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath. And exhale. Hold your breath again. Breathe in and come back. Good. Nice. Now, join your knees together. Turn your calf muscles out. And see so if you can relax your hands between your feet like this. Or you can use your blocks under your hips. Pull your knees forward and pull your feet back. Pull your step. Right. Raise both hands. Take a deep breath. Cross your right arm over your left. And then wrap your forearms, fingers, palms. You can interlink your index and thumb and lift your chin up. Lift your chest bone higher. Stretch your lower back. Take a deep breath. Pause. Freely pause your where it draws your attention. Exhale. Again, inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. And come back. Ready? Switch to the side. Raise both hands, take a deep breath. Exhale, cross your left arm over your right and wrap your forearms. Interlink your index and thumb, touch them together. Lift the chin up. Take a deep breath. Just stretch your lower back and lift your chest bone higher. Take a deep breath again. Hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. And come back. Oh, sorry, I'm running back. Look forward and easily run back. Release. Release your arms. Good. Now, move again and do plank pose, the stretching your knees, take a deep breath, exhale, raise your right leg up, high, bend your right in there, relax the foot towards left up in the air, and lift higher, further up. Take a deep breath. Pause, hold your breath. Exhale, bend your knee down to your forehead. Pause again. Take a deep breath. Again, exhale, three legs down dog. Take a deep breath. Pause. Excellent. Bend your right knee to your right arm armpit. Pause. Take a deep breath. Again, exhale. Three legged down low. Breathe again and pause. Excellent. Bend your right knee to your left arm armpit. Pause again. Breathe. 
Oke, okay, so sudah di dalam dong. Look forward, place the right foot, put in your palms like this, and come up like this. Place your palms in back between your shoulder blades or just hold your forearms, fingers, palms. Bend your left knee close down to your mat, almost touching your mat. Breathe in. Pause. Breathe out. Pause. Let's stretch your left knee straight. Raise the both hands. Place your right palm on the right thigh and exhale, twist towards the right. Hook your left elbow or trice on the back of your other right thigh. Grip it there. Raise your right hand up. If you can't manage it, you can keep your left palm on the left side of the right foot and raise your right hand up. Breathe in. Pause. Breathe out. Pause. Bring your palms down to your shoulders. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Engage your left toes, left heel. Maintain your hips are square. Relax your little neck. Relax your forehead. Lock your knees and straight. Bend your right knee forward, take a deep breath. Exhale down dog. Raise your left leg up and back. Higher. Keep it stretching your left leg. Bend your left knee up there. Take a deep breath and pause. Exhale, bend your left knee down to your forehead. And pause. Breathe in. Exhale. Again, three legged down dog. Bend your left knee up there. Take a deep breath and pause again. Exhale, bend your left knee to your left outer arm pad and pause. Take a deep breath. Again, exhale. Bend your left knee there. Breathe in again and pause. Exhaling, bend your left knee to your right outer arm pad. And pause. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Look for what place in the foot. Put in your palms again. Fingers to the line. And come up. Place your palms again and back between your shoulder blades. Or you can hold your forearms, fingers, palms. Bend your right knee, close down to your mat. Almost touching. Breathe in and pause. Breathe out and pause. Take a deep breath. Release your palms. Place the left palm on your left thigh. Stretch your right knee straight. And excellent bend your right elbow to the outer side of your left thigh. Hook it at your right elbow. Or you can place your palm beside your foot. Or you can place the right palm at right side of your foot down on the mat. Raise your left hand up. Breathe in. Pause. Breathe out. Pause. Come back. Bring your palms down below your shoulders. 
and it's straight in both your knees. Lock knees is fake. Parshottanasana variation. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath. Pause. Exhale. Pause. Ready, left knee, four. Nice and down both. Relax the neck, try your face, facing down, dorsal mat. Look forward and place your right foot ready your palms. Come on. Now, you can be simply holding here with palms together, or you can do some dynamic. Leg works. So let's continue. If you're doing dynamic leg works, you can hold your palms a bit up like this. Maybe looking closer and begin. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Good. Bring your palms down to your shoulders. Turn both feet to the right. Raise your right hand up. Lift your trunk side up. Look over your palm. Breathe in. Practice. Mula Bandha. And bring your awareness to parts of your limbs where it draws your attention. Bring your palms down with your shoulders, steady breath, exhale down dog. Place your left foot forward, bring your palms, and come up. You can be simply holding your palms at the center of your heart, and you close it on your mat, or you can do some dynamic movements again. One. One. Two. Two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Bring your palms down on your shoulders. And turn your both feet to his left side. Whatever your body allows. Always listen to your body. Just be yourself when you're doing your postures, your movements. Raise left hand up. Bring your palms down with your shoulders, take a deep breath. It's a down dog. Walk your palms back towards your feet. Bend your knees forward, expand your ribcage. Place your palms on your feet, under your toes. Padhastasana. If you have sensitive knee, I mean lower back, you need to keep your knees slightly bent. And bring your other case close down your thighs, chest to your knees. Relax your neck. See if you can stretch your knees as straight as you can. You're stretching your ankles, calves, knees, thighs. Take a deep breath. Hold your breath. Exhale. 
and hold breath. When it is for a bit, and take a pause out, cross your wrists, relax your forearms, relax your head, relax your neck, lock your knees are straight, and begin to roll up from the bottom of your spine. One vertebrae at a time, we're stacking upwards, lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders, and neck. Right. Interlock your fingers, you stretch your both arms up and lift your heels up. You can stay that, or you can bend your knees forward. Visualize as if your back is sticking against a wall, sliding your back down, trying to bring your thighs parallel to your mat, maintaining your inner knees and thighs parallel to each other. And come back up. Relax your heels, relax your hands. Good. Feet apart, inner feet are groins width apart. Place your palms to the sides, raise your left hand up like this. Roll your shoulders back, lock your knees straight, tight in your buttocks, turn your face towards left. Breathe in and exhaling, bend the right side of your trunk. And come back. Raise the right hand up. Roll the shoulders back, turn your fist to the right, breathing. And exhaling, bend the left side of the trunk. And come back, release, right. Now we're gonna do Bekasana, a quick Bekasana, frog pose. So I want you to grab hold of your blocks and place it um, this way. Place your knees on that. You can move a bit outward if you like. You can always adjust. Now feet are like this. So your feet are facing inwards. Very important. And your hips are between your knees. Not moving too forward, just between your knees. Walk your knees more out and bend your elbows down. You can use your block again if you like under your forearms or towel. Relax your neck. Relax your head. Feel, connect with your posture. You can slightly move forward and back. Try to find the range of your motion. Any groins. It unifies. I'm still recovering with my leg injury on my uni electric cycle, electric unicycle. It's great fun to ride it. I just started it recently. Okay, um, come back. Bring your palms down, bring your shoulders. And fingers pointing backwards. You stay there. Take a deep breath. You stick your tongue out and exhale louder. 
Oke, okay, inhale. 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 You don't have to do this. You can just hold you in here, right? So remember, yoga is your own practice. There's a compulsion that you must do certain movements or not. It's always about you know listening to your body, and from that. Platform, gazing with your higher awareness, uplifting yourself. Now this time you can stick your tongue out and so you can touch the tip of your nose. Breathe in. Again, breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in one more time. And come back. You can just collapse back a bit and slowly walk your knees together. Good. Uh, good, great. So all these practices we are doing is also helps you with your immune boosting. It takes you away to the next level. Some of you may realize that those have been practicing with me for a while. So take this opportunity and be grateful to, to allow yourself to experience this. When you're grateful to yourself, then also you can be grateful to others around. Right, um, lie down on your mat, keep your blocks handy, we'll be using it later. And raise the both hands like, like this. I'm going to do Garuda Sutta Garuda Asana variation. So cross your right thigh over your left and sit and lock your toes. If you can't lock your toes back of your ankle, that's fine. Just cross your thighs first. Okay. Open your arms. Take a deep breath. And exhaling, cross your left arm over your right. Wrap your forearms like this. Take a deep breath. Compress. And as you exhale, bring your elbows to your thighs. Take a deep breath. Pause. Exhale. Pause. And come back. Keep your legs wrapped. And open your right arm out. You can extend your right arm straight. If you don't have a space, you can just keep it out like this. Bend your elbow. Breathe in. And as you exhale, twist. Turn your both knees to your left side and turn your face towards right. Beautiful. Twist, gently twist, twist. And come back. Nice. Now, cross your left thigh over your right. Lock your toes the back of your ankle, calf muscles. Cross your right arm over your left and wrap your forearms. Take a deep breath and exhale. Bend your elbows to your thighs. Bring your elbows to your thighs. Breathe in, hold your breath. Exhale. Hold your breath again. And let go. Relax your head, relax your neck. Hold the outer left thigh with your right palm, open your left hand to your side, and turn your face to his left. 
Couldn't you both make this do us right? And come back. Release. So now we're going to do a supported half bridge version, and after that, we'll do Balas, uh, Ananda Balasana, Happy Child Pose. <clears throat> so, if you go off this live stream, you can just continue with relaxation in the end. So place your uh, block under your sacrum. So lift up your hips first, and okay. interlock your fingers, and roll your shoulders back. And it's pretty nice. You want to make sure your block is stable and comfortable under your sacrum, just where your lumbar spine ends, right after that. Good. And pull both hands back. Guys, please to spread the words around to your friends, family, so all can benefit. I want you to grow with me in this practice in your life. <laughs> what else is life for? What do we believe in? What are we doing to share with others? To give it to others. That's the expression of yoga. To your higher self. Bend your knees, bring your feet back, close your hips, and take your blocks off. Good. We're gonna do Ananda Balasana from here. Grab off your feet from outer sides. Bend your knees out. Good. Bottom of your feet are facing upwards. You can stay here. Or you can join your feet together. Bind your feet together by interlocking your fingers, palms to your outer sides of your feet. Breathe in, and as you exhale, try to bring your feet behind your head. Touch your toes down first, keep your elbows bent out, keep your knees bent out. Stay there for a bit. Slowly relax. Nice. Bring your feet down. Relax with your lower back. Relax back of your neck, back of your head. Makes it very comfortable. Become effortless with your body so you don't have to move at all you can adjust a bit if you need to become effortless with your breath let it be as it is effortless with your mind disengage from any external thoughts for now and relish simply relax on your mat visualize your entire body floating floating in a beautiful lake filled with wild lotus flowers 
effortless unwind and relaxed You can stay there, continue relaxing for a few more minutes. I'll conclude now with arms down, arms to your forehead together, breathe in. Shadama Yoga series, next one, day three. Have a beautiful day, beautiful time. Namaste.